You are listening to a series of 10 podcasts on political participation, presented by Citizen U. Episode 2. Discuss where Americans get their political values and explain the concept of political socialization. Explain the significance of the political spectrum. Learning to think politically is a process known as political socialization. As stated earlier, this typically does not happen while contemplating deep thoughts in your room. According to the political science data, demographic characteristics jumpstart our engagement in the political process. Below you will learn about what the latest data suggests about these characteristics. Check out if it is generally true for you. Note, these are generalizations and not to be considered absolute characterizations. Gender. Men tend to be more conservative and therefore supporters of the Republican Party. Women, on the other hand, are more liberal and side with Democrats. Can you guess why? Age. The rule of thumb here is the older you are, the more likely you are to be a conservative. Religion. Few demographic characteristics are as telling as religion. Citizens who faithfully practice their religion tend to be more conservative. Protestantism is the most conservative religion. Base Republicans tend to be active Protestants. Often labeled the conservative right, these faithful Republican voters are oftentimes called evangelicals. Catholics, despite their conservative views on social issues, lean left on the political spectrum. Slim majorities of Catholics still vote for the Democratic Party. Jews, historically, have overwhelmingly supported liberal Democrats. The irreligious also side with Democrats. Race. Caucasians as a group are most often found on the right side of the political spectrum. African Americans are the most reliable subgroup on the left. 90% of all African Americans vote Democratic. Pacific Rim citizens, due to their religious and family traditions, tend to the right and the Republican Party. Education. The more educated you are, the more likely you are to be conservative. The one exception would be those citizens holding graduate degrees. Statistically, college graduates narrowly vote Republican. Those with less education narrowly vote Democratic. Occupation. Education influences this demographic characteristic more than any other. Those occupations requiring more education tend to lean more to the conservative side. White-collar jobs lean Republican, while blue-collar jobs tend to be more Democratic. This means labor unions, a smaller and smaller percentage of our total workforce, are reliable voters on the left. Economic status. The Republican Party and its values tend to appeal to the middle class. The Democratic Party champions lower classes. The wealthy are more split in their political allegiances. Determining the political persuasion of the wealthy depends upon other leading demographic ingredients. Region. Democrats do better in urban environments, while Republicans win more in suburban and rural areas. Liberal Democrats dominate the Northeast. The South is solidly conservative and Republican. The West Coast now leans strongly liberal, though the Plains are clearly conservative. Many of the fiercest political battleground states now reside in the Midwest. You are listening to a series of 10 podcasts on political participation, presented by Citizen U.